Steve Soper's got a gap between himself and the Toyota. Here's Soper, there's Hoy, there is Odor. This is Percy, behind him is Alan. We're with Menu and he's going off. They're all going off here. That's Alan Menu, just as he did at Alton Park, slides off out of the race. And at Surtees, the battle for seventh continues. Clellan, there he is. Behind him, Leslie. Behind him is Ian Flux in the Peugeot. Number 79 is Leslie. And it's Matthew Neal again. Number 13 in the BMW. Off. Now he collided with Ian Cantwell's Mazda. Neal seems to be unharmed. And there is Cantwell's Mazda. You can see the damage on the left front of the car. And he's going on his way. And at 30s, Super still leads, but only just ahead of Will Hoy's Toyota. Odor still in third position. A great drive by the Salisbury man in the Nissan. There is Odor coming through to complete a lap. And we're with Hoy now, second place. And his problem is not so much Steve Soper as Keith Odor. He's right behind him. Paddock, Soper, Hoy, number two. There he is. We're looking back at him. Up to Druids, hard on the brakes, so far. Calmly jockeying the BMW round that very tight right-hander, keeping the gap between himself and Hoy. Hoy has got Odor virtually attached to his boot lid. Here comes Sopa, lights ablaze. And Odor is attacking. Odor is attacking. But Hoy has got the inside line. Odor has to drop back. He's still in third position, but it's close, and he's keeping up the pressure as they come out of Clark Curve into the Jack Brabham Street. 140 miles an hour, and this is Odor's chance. Soper is uh, pulling ahead, but Odor is through. Odor is through. He's up into second position. And Hoy, the British champion of 1991, is down to third place. Great drive by Keith Odor. Druid, so for extending his lead. Now, can Will Hoy get back to grips with Keith Odor? It doesn't look like it. The Nissan is pulling away all the time. In fact, I think Will Hoy's got some sort of a problem. There's the lead up, Sofa. Odor. That is Wynn Percy in fourth place. Right behind him is Jeff Allen in the Vauxhall, fifth position. And Jeff is really going for it. He's so close to Wynn Percy, he's almost pushing him. Look! Nissan, Vauxhall, the black Nissan on the left, the white Vauxhall is right behind him, Jeff Allen is pushing hard and Wynn Percy says that's the man I'm going for, Will Hoy in third position, and Jeff Allen is going for Wynn Percy, it's that close. Third, fourth and fifth together, round Paddock Bend, up Halewood Rise, into Druids. Wynn Percy, five times British champion, just come back from Australia where he raced for Holden, down to... Graham Hill then, with Percy again. Pushing Will Hoy very hard indeed. Here comes the Toyota towards us. Right behind in the Nissan, right behind the Nissan is the Vauxhall. And with Percy's going for it again, and Hoy's off! Hoy's off! Straight into the tyre barrier. He was being pushed too hard, he lost control. Off goes the Toyota, and it looks as though Will Hoy is out of the race. Now we're with Percy. Nissan's a second and third now. Or are they? Because that's Jeff Allen going through and he's done it. Jeff Allen has got up into third position ahead of Wynn Percy. So it is now Super leading Odor second, Allen third, Percy fourth, Clellan fifth, and David Leslie in sixth position as they go around Druids. Now here's a replay from Will Hoy's car. Out of Surtees, into clearways, onto the grass, into the tire wall. That's it. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. But it looks as though he's trying to get back on the track. And here's the battle for fifth. Cleland and Leslie. Leslie on the left, number three. Cleland is attacking. Cleland on the outside, Leslie on the inside as they go into Druids as one. We're with Leslie now. And Cleland goes through on the inside, on the inside line of Graham Hill Bend. He retakes fifth position from the Scotsman. And at 30, it's Allen, Percy, Cleland, Leslie, all the way up from the rear of the grid. We're with Leslie again. John Cleland in front. Wynn Percy in front of him. Jeff Allen in front of him. Through to complete the lap. And Odor is giving Sofa, the leader, a very hard time indeed as they go into Paddock. That is Keith Odor's Nissan. Getting close. And the contact again. Another BMW. 
Number 11, this time it's Ray Belm in the Team Dynamics car. He's hit Eugene O'Brien's Peugeot, but they go on, no problem. Here are the leaders, Sofa versus Odor. Now they're well ahead of Jeff Allen in third position. The BMW and the Nissan, that's the Nissan. And this is Keith Odor and Nissan's best race this season by far. Up to the end of the lap at Paddock. Sofa driving for 22 years. Odor has been driving for nine years. Champions in various classes, both of them. Here's the Nissan. Right up to the boot lid of the BMW at Druids as Keith Odor laps somebody in the background. Round paddock. And that's Cleland and Leslie for fifth. We're with Leslie now. He's having another go at Cleland's Vauxhall. Into Druids, he's got the inside line again, but once again, John Cleland shuts the door. Oh, well, I tried, says Leslie, I tried. And at Surtees, there is no rest for Sopa. But if he wins this race, that's Odor behind him. He will take the championship lead again. Steve Sofa looking back at Odor as they come out of Clark Curve into the start and finish Jack Brabham Street. And they're coming up to lap Will Hoy, who has rejoined the race, and this is the last lap. 1.2 miles to go. There's Hoy, that's Sofa going through, smoking his right rear tyre, and he's got the jump on Odor. That was a masterly move by Steve Sofa because he has got ahead of Hoy and Odor is only just now passing the Toyota. So, into 30s. For the last time, only three corners to go now to win number three for Steve Soper this season. No points at Alton Park, but if he wins here, he's going to score 17 and that will give him the championship lead. Here he is, Brown Clark into the Jack Brabham straight for the last time. He can see the chequered flag. And there it is, another immaculate drive from BMW's top man, Steve Soper, and two more wins today for the men from Munich, and a battle for fifth right to the end, and John Cleland, number three, just gets it from David Leslie. A double, though, for BMW. Keith O'Dor completed a very good day with another second-place finish. Win Percy in fourth, confirming that the Nissan was improving. And with Winkelhock failing to finish in that second race, Soper, with his victory following a fourth-place finish, had done enough to regain the championship lead again. Three points the margin.